Okay, folks. Back to Battle for Azeroth. Been leveling my High Mountain Torin, my druid. Got to level 60, which would have been the original vanilla cap. So I thought it might be interesting to start a state of here and then just progressively update it as I go. So, Druid was, fun fact, one of the first classes I played. It was the first class I played after I bought the game. I played the trial. Played the trial with a friend, and then we bought our games at different times, and Druid was the first one I leveled to 85, I think was the cap. I got I, I got my druid to the cap the day before the day of the pre-patch for Miss Pandara. Mr. Pandaria. So then I had to turn around and level five more levels. So after everything had changed, so yeah. No sooner than I had and I had um I I remember I had just gotten a relic sitting here thinking back. Seems like I had just gotten a relic, and I believe Miss was when they took relics out during the pre-patch. That was when we that was when we lost our talent trees, and we got the current um, talents that we have now. Just the rose, not the the trees. So, yeah. Simpler, even though it was a little more complex, simpler times. Yes. So, anyway, I digress. So, I have, I played mostly Resto and Balanced. So, and there's been a lot of changes between, um, you know, Kata, Miss, and... Um, Battle for Azeroth. So I'm going to mention the things that I remember that are different just to, as I said, kind of create a starting point and then we will go from there. So I started out as Resto. I actually started out as Resto and Feral. Now that we have... I remember when Feral and Guardian used to be combined. Um, I played Feral because at the time in Legion that I unlocked High Mountain, I was playing my Rogue quite a bit, as I seem to remember. And then I and then I kind of let him sit there for a while. Battle for Azeroth came out, things like that, and whatnot. And then um, decided I wanted to try to level them a little more, and then switched over to balance. And I have really been enjoying balance. So that's kind of what's been keeping my interest thus far. So, yeah, and I like some of the changes they've made to, to balance. So I remember. When balance had the um, the meter, where you would either get the uh, lunar eclipse or the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse, um, they did away with that. We have 
to be had now. It changed our resource. We have astral power now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, let's look through the spellbook. I suppose most of these are things you would find familiar. I'm trying to remember if we... I don't think when I started we had Lunar Strike. I remember Wrath and I remember Moonfire and Sunfire in some form. I remember having Dots. At least remember having Moonfire. I remember having Solar Wrath. I think they had a lunar lunar strike later, or it was higher up in the. Um, it was higher up in the. It may have been the level eighty five ability that we got. I don't honestly remember. It's a spell that I don't remember having like as I leveled. So it may have just been a higher level or it may have gotten added later. It seems like I remember logging on in Miss at some point and I'd switched over to Balance and I was trying to set it up and there were new abilities. And I was like, I don't know. It just seemed, it seemed um, complicated because you had to use certain things. But at one point, I want to say, if you used... If you used your lunar abilities, you would get closer to a lunar eclipse. If you used your solar abilities, they would it would move the meter away the other direction. So it, it seems like you could stop an eclipse and go in the opposite direction. I'm not sure if that's true or if my mind is, uh, if I'm remembering that correctly. I may be imagining things. Um, I, in my train of thought in my mind jumping around. I remember being on my farm trying to figure out how to set up balanced again. And I had, we had more spells. That's why I said I don't remember Lunar Strike. Because I remember thinking, oh, now we've got a spell and a dot. So, Lunar Strike is, let me see here, I thought, yeah. Your, we definitely did not have Star Surge, I know. Aside from that is your hardest hitting ability. Um, pretty much it. I remember when Rebirth needed seeds. If that tells you anything. I do, I do, I do. For the longest time, I left the icon on my, my bar. I had, I had the, um, the seeds next to, as I remember, because I don't think Rebirth told you how many seeds you had. I think I had it on the, the bar next to it um, to tell me how many seeds I had so I knew how many people I could um, res. Um, I want to say, and again, you know, details kind of shaky here. I, I want to say Typhoon used to be a baseline ability. Not sure that that's true. Leaning towards it is. I remember doing the old version of Scarlet Monastery and not realizing that it had a knockback. And I kept using it, and we got like halfway through it, and then the tank said, "Stop using Typhoon." It's it's because whatever the the um, the uh, I want to say it was in the the hallway before that the final boss that does the fire around the room, and those mobs hit heavy or hit hard. I should say, excuse me, those mobs hit hard, and I forget whatever Typhoon was doing, it was making it worse. And I didn't realize that abilities had like built-in abilities and all this. All I saw was like, or maybe it dazed them. Maybe that was the problem. I, something about Typhoon, I remember, was an issue. 
and I didn't realize that it did multiple things. So, yeah. Um, empowerment, I don't think we had. And, yeah. So there we go. So really nothing, nothing much has changed from what I remember. Um, celestial alignment. We did not have, again, I want to say that spell, if not the, the, a spell that used that icon was added in this. I'm pretty sure it's been changed, though, because I remember there was a lot more text on the spell than that. So, yeah. So pretty much you have your bear abilities, your cat abilities. So not too bad. This is probably... No pun intended. This is probably the best balanced um, in terms of abilities this is probably the best balance I've seen it between simplicity and the concept of what balance is which is trying to get to either a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse that kind of uh, um, that that's that's your that that kind of thing. That's your your goal. Um, we had Starfall. Starfall was a higher. Higher level ability, I remember. I'm pretty sure we did. Because I do remember using that on the farm. That may have been the 85 talent. I'm not sure. Anyway, I digress. So, Ben, and of course we have Innervate, which works the same way. Uh, I think it works the same way. I, I vaguely seem to remember this working similar to Monetide Totem in that it would restore mana. Innervate works... Um, i trying to think what it's called. Holy Priest has... I think it's Holy. Yeah, Holy Priest has a very similar ability, but it's a, rather than it being a single target um, focused ability, it is a party slash raid wide ability um, that lets healers cast, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, it allows healers to cast without spending mana. So, yeah, let me see here. Anything else worth mentioning? I don't think so. Okay, so if we look at the talent, that's what we're looking at so far. So, I took Nature's Balance because it gets you halfway, gets you to 50% of um, Astral Power. While in combat, you generate two astral power every three seconds. While out of combat, your astral power rebalances to 50 instead of depleting to empty. So that seemed worthwhile. Um, force of nature. I this this was a I'm trying to remember. I think this was a talent. I think this was like a 7590 talent. I don't think this was a baseline ability. I want to say this was a talent. And I, this is one of those spells, coordination, I could never figure out how to, there's something about it that I could never figure out how to use it 
in a way that made sense, which probably, as you may have gathered, I was extremely uh, new to the game, naive about how, didn't know how anything worked. So, no clue if I was even using this anywhere near correctly how it or how it should have been used. Um, the idea of having three trees to fight, um, I seem to remember as Resto they would heal. They did something different for healing and damage, as I remember. I think Balance and Restor were the only two that could use them. As I seem to remember. Um, yeah. So. I said, I have seen some people take this. Um, I've also seen some people take uh, Nature's Balance. So this first tier I'm noticing, generally speaking, right now, I'm noticing that it really doesn't matter for a lot of classes. You can kind of play around with it. Um, it seems like as you get higher into the talents, it gets more, okay, this is the default choice for what I'm trying to do, or this is what I need to take for what I'm trying to do, things like that. So, which I think is good. It gives people kind of a chance to... to um, Play around a little bit. Um, Warrior of a Loon. Your next three Lunar Strikes are instant cast and generate 40% additional astral power. Again, kind of coordination. Um, I, I always end up using abilities like this. I feel like at the wrong time or I end up like, I use them when I think I should and then I end up wasting them or, yeah. Um, Nature's balance works in, in most situations, so, and I don't have any trouble um, generating astral powers, so that seemed to be the, the right choice for, at least, at least for, for my play style. Um, I picked Renewal because the only self-heal we have is... Just double check here, make sure. Yes, the only one we have is uh, Regrowth, which one has a one point, basically a one and a half second cast time. And it's a dot, which isn't, isn't helpful. If you're trying to stay alive fighting somebody, that is not helpful. So. Renewal I've used before. It works fine. Um, I tried Tiger's Dash when I was playing as Feral. I was trying to go for the Flag. Uh, Feral or Resto, depending on the, the uh, group. I was trying to go for the Flag a lot, so I thought this would be... I just don't like this. I... Yeah, I just don't... Uh, uh, what is the actual difference here? Just a shorter, just a shorter cooldown. I see. Uh, increases your movement speed by 60%. This increases it by 200%. Reduces gradually. That was the difference. Okay. Uh, oh, 60% while in cat. Wait. Yeah, cat form. Not stealth. It's just cat form. Um, yeah, so I thought this would give me a better um, advantage to get the flag. It just, I just, I just don't like it. Um, yeah, so renewal definitely, I think, benefits me more than, and I, I still have this. I mean, this is dash is a a, um, a good ability. There's nothing wrong with with dash. So it just has a little bit. Yeah, two minute cooldowns a little long, so um, that's all. I thought uh, I think maybe the cooldown was what I was thinking. Um, 
if you grab the flag, say, in like Warsong Gulch, um, by the time you kind of pop all your abilities, you're like in the middle of the, the battleground. Uh, or you're like halfway to the other side of the battleground, I should say, not in the middle of the battleground. Um, so renewal, I find, is much more useful. I kept um, kept dying in before uh, bark skin, what have you. I think I got another level of um, moonkin form it at one point. Um, Wild Charge, I've tried to use this a few times, or I've looked at this to use it a few times. I, um, it's just, I, to me, I've just never found it very helpful for what I was trying to do. Um, a lot of people take this. I've seen a lot of druids that have taken this. Um especially cat form. Um, I think I've noticed that's when I've noticed people using them a few times. For moonkin form, bouncing backwards, I, I know for being a hunter, having disengage, which basically does the same thing. Um, it, it's not all that helpful at, at all times, so it's, it's kind of a specific thing, um, depending on what you're, you're um, trying to do. So again, uh, renewal is is probably the um, probably the what what works probably the best for what works um, for me in this tier. Um, if if not the the best, again, it's kind of weird because these two both do something to your um, movement. And then there's just there's just a heal, kind of in the I guess that's what I was trying to to figure out um, how to say. Um, so yeah, um, and then the next one. Now this one was a bit of a toss up. This this is a bit strange. This was something new they added. It's I, I like it. In concept. So if you if you maybe don't play Druid, which is kind of what I was thinking this might be helpful for if, if you don't play Druid or you haven't played Druid in a while, what have you. So with the uh, level 45 tier, you get to pick one of your other specs as kind of an enhancement to your current spec. So say, since I'm in Balanced, I can pick from Feral, Guardian, and Resto. Those are the other three. If I was in Guardian, it would be Feral, Balanced, and Resto, so forth and so on. Um, Feral and Guardian basically just give you more abilities. You really don't have many abilities. They give you a couple of abilities, and that's pretty much it. Um, I picked Guardian just because PvP flag, if I for some reason ended up with the flag, I just wanted to, um, you know, it gives you Thick Hide, which reduces all damage taken by 6%, gives you a few more abilities, Iron Fur, um, increases armor, so, uh, you have a heal, Frenzied regeneration. I think that's an I. Yeah, frenzied. Um, so yeah, I've seen people take um, restoration. If you're ca coming from the point of view of a healer, if you're if you, if you want to heal, just be a healer. Um, off spec healing is. Not great. Um, if you're in a dungeon and, you know, a tank leaves and you have 
you know, people are um, decently geared. You know, most people have heirlooms now, um, nowadays. Um, you know, if, if you're just, if you just want to try to, you know, clear some trash or something, try to move on while you wait for a tank or something, fine. That's perfectly fine. To try to off spec, off, uh, spec heal in a raid, it's just not going to happen. Um, in a battleground with with Druid, who has, um, you know, I think probably the most heal over time abilities, no. It's just in Wild Growth is a, your um, uh, Rejuvenation and Swift Mend are single target heals. And wild growth would be your uh, AOE heal, um, or your group heal. I think it heals like four people. Um, I, yeah, I've, I've seen Balance Druid try to take this, and it just doesn't. Um, no, if, if you want to be a healer, be a healer. Um, Feral makes sense. Um, Guardian makes sense, especially if, if you want to go out and quest and things like that. You know, sometimes you might just want to... Um, I, I tried taking Feral because I was um, using Stealth a lot to get around um, at one point when I was questing. And I was in a... Uh, I was in a mine. I was in a cave mine. Well, it, was, it was a mine. I would have called it a mine. Um and fairly large area, and I kept uh, using stealth, so I wasn't, you know, just spending forever and ever just killing things, trying to get back to the um, the, the quest giver. And I, I, I tried taking Feral. Um, I, I was used to, for, for me, just as a preference thing, I, I just, I am not a big fan of Malay, um, DPS very much. Um, I just preferred balance. Um, some, somewhere in my mind as I was going through, you know, as I was doing quest, it, I, I was thinking, you know, I should just pick Feral and da 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 Um, since you have to be in a rested area, I left, I went somewhere else. I like, I, I picked, um, I think I had Guardian switched over to Feral. Um, and then I just kept, it just, Yeah. I just, I, I didn't like it um, for what I was trying to do. Um, I prefer um, uh, balance DPS works works just as fine. So uh, Feral is kind of a combination of different things. They have a lot of damage over time ability. So it doesn't work exactly like a rogue. And I think that was maybe what was disappointing me a little bit was I kind of felt a little bit, I was getting those, I was getting the vibe of a rogue and then it just wasn't playing like a rogue. Um, so I think I was, I think, I think I was disappointing myself without realizing it, if that makes sense. So um, for what I do, Guardian's fine. Um, now, to perhaps contradict myself with Guardian. Um, as I said, I took it more thinking PVP if I got the flag or uh, ended up guarding a base or some such. Um, if you're in a dungeon and you need to off-spec tank as a druid, that's not as bad as trying to off-spec heal. Um, I've even seen some people try to, um, you know, in raids, kind of in the middle of a fight, um, probably like in, in LFR or normal, you, you probably wouldn't want to do it in um, heroic or, or mythic, at least not at level. Um, if, if a tank dies or something and, and you're close to the end of the fight, you're in the last phase, um, you know, somebody might switch over just to, if, if they need to taunt a boss off or something. Um, uh, tanking, druid, tanking, and druid healing are not created equally. 
So there is a bit of um, there is a bit of um, contradiction there, I suppose. Um, both uh, Guardian and Resto are have have always been since I've played some of the better um, tanks and healers in the game, um, especially Guardian tanks for for their um, because of their mastery. Um, Guardian tanks and monks are usually the last ones standing in in raids, at least when I um, raided. Uh, what would it have been? Probably Miss. Miss and Wad. Miss, Miss and Warlords were the two that I rated in quite a bit. Um, so, I, 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 if, if you just want one that has a little more versatility to it, um, Guardian's probably... It's, it's very simple to play. Uh, very simple to understand, I think. Restoration looking back, is kind of, not complicated, but it's kind of, it's a bit confusing if you don't understand the, the concept of kill over time and damage over time, which I, I didn't. I read it. I understood what the spells did, I thought. In practice, though, um, and this was back when... Um, Uh, what is it called? Um, that's Wild Growth. The, um, let me see. Will it show me? It's not going to show me. The, um, the one big, the, the like, the, the tank uh, single target ability um, had to stack three times, so you had to watch that, watch your dot. And if you let it expire, it would heal for a larger amount. If it was refreshed, the, the timer would just start over. So there was a lot of coordination to it that they've changed. Um, with um, and that's somewhat the same thing with Feral. Um, however, DPS isn't quite in the same, um, you know, learning to play DPS isn't quite the same as learning to play as a healer. Um, I've always liked Guardian. I just don't... I don't have a reason to tank very much. So, and when I do, I generally tank on my death knight. So, um, yeah. So I think I've said enough, probably more than enough on, on that. And then at 60, I unlocked the, what would be my last tier here and took typhoon. So I've tried, um, Typhoon seemed good for PvP. I said, well, we'll give it a, we'll, we'll give it a try. Main thing is just trying to keep things off me. Um, and I really didn't have anything besides roots that did that. Entangling roots, excuse me. And damage uh, may cancel this effect. So it was, you know, one of those things where it kind of worked, kind of didn't. Um, mass entanglement... Seems like they added in this. I seem to remember using it in um, Tollbard. We're trying to use it there. Back when people still still did that. People actually do still do that. I, I did that the other day. Um, I personally, I just I just didn't like this. Um, Mighty Bash invokes the spirit of your 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 suk your suk your suk um, to stun the target for a second, it's usable in all shape shape form. It's just a single target thing. Single target stuns don't uh, on a fifty second cooldown. Typhoon for me in balanced would be more useful. I think it not only knocks them back, it dazes them for six seconds. 
on a 30 second cooldown. So, uh, yeah, so not too bad. I took um, iron armor, iron feather armor. There we go. Uh, Moonkin form increases your armor by an additional 25%. Reduces your chance to be critically hit by melee attacks by 20%. Did I switch this up for something else? It seems like I might have. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe that was what I always had. Oh, no, I didn't. I took uh, Crescent Burn to start with. Using Moonfire on a target already affected by Moonfire's damage over... Time effect deals 35% additional direct damage. I thought this was going to be good. At lower levels, this doesn't seem to do very much of anything. Uh, keeping in mind that Moonfire does... Well, at this particular moment, at level 60-ish, it does... Less than a hundred direct damage, and five hundred arcane damage over twenty-two seconds. So that's not too bad. It's more than Starfire or Sunfire. So yeah, I I wanted to be one of those uh, druids that um, just seem to only spam Moonfire and not use anything else. Somehow do all this damage and never seem to die in all this. And as I said, at least at lower levels, didn't seem to work that way. So as I unlock these other slots, I may pick it again. Um, survivability was kind of more what I was going for. I think I may have seen somebody else take um, Iron Feather Armor. So, I don't have too much. Once I got uh, Renewal, I, I didn't have too much trouble. A minute and a half cooldown on something that heals you for 30% of your maximum health is not too bad. So, yeah. Then I wanted to show you my rotation just so you could see the simplicity of it. So I will open with, since I already have 50 Astral Power, I will open with Star Surge. And then Star Surge gives me a proc on Lunar Strike and Solar Wrath, um, which they deal more damage and their cast time is reduced. Um, Lunar Strike has the longer cast time and does the most damage. Um, Solar Wrath has a shorter cast time and does, does less damage. So, um, And if you can get the proc along with... Uh, where is it? Or is it actually in the spell? No. There we go. Well, in this form, Moonkin form... Uh, single target attacks against you have a 15% chance to make your next Lunar Strike instant cast. You can get that proc back to back two, three times. Um, and then pretty much from there, I'll just try to spread my dots. Now, Moonfire, you have to apply individually. Starfire... Starfire is one of those that has some weird um, or some misleading text. A quick beam of solar light burns the enemy for X amount of nature damage, and then an additional X amount of nature damage over 18 seconds. The primary target and all enemies within 8 yards. Now, when it said all enemies within 8 yards, I took it to mean... It just does like AoE damage or cleave damage to anyone that is near the primary target with Starfire. It actually applies itself to any targets within 8 yards. Doesn't specifically tell you that. 
So I will spam um, Starfire. Um, and that's where a good portion of my DPS seems to come from, is getting Starfire out on as many as I can. Um, and then I will just use um, Starfall when I can. It's kind of hard to spam it with 50 Astral Power. I don't seem to generate quite enough for that. I can use everything else fine. Um, especially with um, Ancestral Alignment. It basically just speeds everything up. Um, let's see if we can do that again, and then we'll do that again. See, I only got 50 right then. So it's a bit... Um, I try to keep... Um, Star Surge on cooldown, so I get the buff. Um, yeah, and then not not too bad, and then just use Renewal when appropriate, Bark Skin when appropriate. I try to do, use Entangling Roots, um, Healers, DPS that are... Um, you know, uh, hunters, warriors, what have you, things that are trying to, um, classes that tend to cause you problems in PvP, I try to, to, um, uh, root and lay into them, because I can't cast anything while moving except for, um, Moonfire and Sunfire, the dots, um, and Star Surge of course, um, to cast any of the bigger abilities. So I've, ha I've had some games that are like that, I, where I'm, I'm not, you know, somebody always seems to be on me, so I'm not able to stop and like run through my rotation, as it were. Um, and it can be a bit frustrating. That's why I said I try to spam uh, Sunfire um, regardless and that seems to be, even if I'm not able to, to use much of anything else, that seems to be where a good portion of my DPS comes from. There and with Starfall. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it doesn't look like it does much. Calls down waves of falling stars. That's targeted location dealing X amount astral damage over 8 seconds. It seems like a pretty simple if not plain spell, and it actually does really well. I've been really surprised by that, really pleasantly surprised, as I said. So, um, yeah, and then I've mainly been using Astral Alignment for when um, I'm not able to use Star Surge. So, again, kind of, if you have to move a lot, you kind of, that kind of messes up your rotation. Um, I try to stand far enough back that I can, um, you know, cast at least a couple spells, at least use, um, Star Surge and, I do not have a target. there we go, um, you know, at least use the proc, if nothing else, and then move somewhere else. Um, that's why it's handy when... Lunar Strike can get the instant cast procs, and you can get those, as I said, um, repeatedly if you're um, if you're what is it, a fifteen percent chance? Did it say? Yeah. So, which is rather low um, compared to other things, and I was I was quite surprised. Surprised, it um, it does proc quite often. So, so there you go. There's a little bit uh, the abilities, the talents, a little bit about my rotation for Balance Druid. Hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.